Welcome to the Windows Computer and Technology channel and uh, we are continuing a little bit more the series on the internet connections and things you can do to improve it. So of course we have talked about modems, routers and the age that they have is important because if it's too old it will not reach the performance level that you want depending on your internet connection. Of course for a lot of people the internet connection, the high speed internet is, you know, just fast enough that even older devices might still work fine with it. But if you've got a faster connection and wonder why you're not reaching the speeds, well, here's a few things to look at. First of all, we talked about speedtest.net where you can check out your internet speed. That is the real number that you get from your connection. It's the number that is decided by many different things. So if your speed when you go to speedtest.net isn't the one that is supposed to be, there could be something else that's happening. First of all, your router, what generation is it? It's an AC, it's an N, it's what is it? Uh, there are several protocols. You don't want in 2022 to have a G router. 802.11G is an old protocol and it is slow compared to what today Zenternet can actually give you. So G is out of the question. You should be something much more advanced. Most people are probably right now at N. N is decent and with most internet connections, N is still correct. And then, of course, there's the newer protocols, which are AC and AX. AC or AX are both great. AC is fine. It's a little older. AX is the newest protocol. So what happens is, how do you know which generation you have? Well, on your router, you should see a sticker. You should see information that tells you what type of connection it is. On your PC, if you right-click your wireless connection and go into open network and internet settings in Windows 10 you will see that you have the properties of your connection. That properties panel is going to give you information about your connection. So here the connection properties and we're going to actually expand the panel like this tells me that the protocol Wi-Fi I'm using is Wi-Fi 5, which is 802.11ac. If that is N or AC on your connection, it means that both your computer's Wi-Fi and your router are capable of that. The other information that is important to have is the link speed. Link speed is different from internet speed. The link speed is telling you how fast a connection, your computer and your router are talking to each other. This has to be a higher number than your internet connection speed. So if here you see 54 and your internet connection should be 120 or 200, you'll only have 54 because the hardware you're using cannot go faster than that. That means you're not getting the full speed because your hardware is too old or your connection's not good. Remember that this will vary. If you move away from your router and go in another room, you will notice that the link speed goes down. The further away you are from your router, from your Wi-Fi, the slower this number is going to be. And that has to do with the fact that the signal gets weaker as you get further away and the connection to stay stable needs to actually connect to a lower speed. What you see here is the maximum speed you'll ever be able to achieve whatever internet connection uh, speed you get. So if you get gigabit internet, but you have 433 connection here, you'll be at 433 megabits in speed. You'll never reach one gigabit on your computer. Of course, the faster speeds you can get by connecting with the Ethernet cable. We talked about it. These are typically, most of the time, the best speeds you can have because most routers today are gigabit Ethernet routers that have 
capability of connecting to one gigabit per second. But remember that that's only the link between your PC and the router. Your internet speed is a different beast. It's a different number. And it's provided by your internet service provider. So if the speeds are no good here, if the speed of the link is lower than the speed of your internet connection, or if you see that your computer boasts that maybe its connection is fast, but you're not reaching the AC connection, it says N or G, it could be the hardware, your modem or your router that's too old for your newer computer, for example. So we're going to talk about that equipment and how to even have better speed on Wi-Fi on an old computer. If you're using a computer that's seven, eight, nine years old, you might be stuck with an old Wi-Fi adapter in it that is slow. And you can actually increase that speed because there's easy ways to change that. If you enjoy my videos, please subscribe, give us thumbs up. Thank you for watching.